Hey guys, well, um, I'm kind of excited about doing today's video just because with what I'm going to show you today, I've finally been able to get my wife to carry some of her own crap out into the woods. My wife doesn't go out very much um, for extended periods. We do, we try to do a day hike every Sunday, um, but she always basically relies on me to bring, you know, the water, whatever. I mean, if anything were to ever happen, I mean, she would obviously look to me to, to help out in whatever situation might arise or whatever. She just looks to, to me to carry the gear. But it's hard sometimes when it's um, hot out and stuff for me to be able to pack all the water that's necessary for both of us plus the two dogs that we take. So just for the, you know, even just carrying her own water is a huge help to me. So basically what I'm gonna be showing you today are some products from the Hidden Woodsman. Now the Hidden Woodsman, um, that's his product or his um, business name and the gentleman that's who owns that or whatever is Malcolm Cordaire I think that's how you pronounce his last name anyway Malcolm and I have been friends on Facebook for quite a while and a lot of people have his haversack um, the material that I have I believe um, or that I have had my items made out of I believe it's called a thousand Cordura, Cordura. Um, Malcolm will be able to give you the technical specifications, price, material that he has available, all that type of stuff, he will be able to answer way better than I could ever. Um, he can do custom work, he can do um, tarps, he can do a lot of stuff. I'm just gonna be taking a look and showing you guys three particular bags that I've been using now for, I'm gonna say, it's been months and months and months. I don't know how long it's been. The, the haversack I think I've had for about a year. The other two items, um, I'm not sure how long. I can't remember how long I've had them, but I've had them long enough to know that um, they hold up well and that they are a good system for me for a day hike or even an, a, an extended hike if you needed to. So, wow, bugs are bad. Um, like I said, cost-wise, material-wise, stuff like that, contact him, the Hidden Woodsman, Malcolm Cordaire. Um, let me reposition the camera and I'll show you what I've, what I've got going here. The first thing I'm gonna show you is my wife's carry system. And uh, let me set up the camera. Okay guys, so this is what my, I've been able to get my wife to carry out into the woods now. Um, she didn't particularly care for my haversack for whatever reason. Look at that nice spider there. I love my wife dearly, but sometimes she can be pretty picky. <laughs> so I don't know why she likes this one better than my haversack. Okay, quick, quick up with a haversack, but she does. This is called the French trade bag, I believe is what it's called. I wrote the name down just to be sure. Yeah, the French trade bag. And basically about a month ago when I started thinking about doing this video, I asked her, I said, I want you to use this bag, um, well, I said this before, but she finally gave me an answer about a month ago. I said, I want you to use this bag and I want you to give me your honest opinion and I want you to tell me why you either like it or dislike it. So she finally came back to me and she answered me and she said, I like it a lot. And she said, the reason I like it is because I'm able to put my five C's in here and carry it comfortably. Okay, basically that's a lie. What she said was, I like how wide the strap is and I can fit a lot of crap in it. <laughs> so that's what she said. She, she carries it, she likes carrying it, and with this system she can carry at the very minimum her own water and the dogs, we've got like a foldable, collapsible water dish for the dogs. She can carry that, she can carry like a hairbrush or something like that if she wants. She can carry her mosquito repellent, you know, whatever she wants, to, her wallet, stuff like that. And, then, and she doesn't have to worry about, um, you know, which purse she's going to take or whatever. She just, this is her outdoor purse or whatever, if you will. So right off the bat, this strap, I'm going to say, it's probably at least an inch and a half, if not inch and a quarter, something, or inch and a quarter, inch and a half, something like that. Um, so we've got our flap with our buckle, okay, plenty of extra room with our with my strap here, with her strap, 
Velcro little keeper here to keep the keep the strap out of the way. Okay. Nice heavy duty plastic buckles on these two, or you know whatever these are, if they're a nylon buckle or whatever. But I know that having dealt with some plastic buckles or nylon buckles or whatever, these are uh, of the better quality. That's for sure. So he can make he can do the inside different than the outside. You know whatever. Contact him for the specifics on what type of material. She can put her iPhone in here. You know, there's just a lot of different options with this. Ton of stitching on the on the Velcro and stuff. The stuff isn't going to come loose. And I will I will tell you. And I I hate to steal Dave's term, Dave Canterbury's term or whatever. This is common man stuff. This isn't going to cost you an arm and a leg. This isn't a hundred dollar bag or whatever or, or however much a leather bag, whatever would cost. This is this is functional stuff. Okay. We've got this nice little closer in here will kind of, if you've got the bag filled up and it kind of just kind of tucks everything in here and kind of keeps it situated inside, inside the bag. Okay, just an extra little in addition to the, to the closure you might say. Inside here, another nice little pocket. Okay, another nice little pocket right inside there. She can whatever she carries you know I know it's not a lot of five C's or ten C's <laughs> but at least I know she's got her water bottle in here okay just nice gussets and stuff I think that's what you call these whatever all I know is that I've been carrying my haversack for a long time and I haven't had any issues with anything coming loose no stitching coming loose no 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 threads no nothing you know, even starting to want to come loose, and I take mine out a ton. She's been using hers quite a bit too, and uh, like I said, it's only for for short day hikes. But I mean, you know, when you get to using some of this stuff, you can tell. You know, some of my other stuff that I've had in the past, you know, you only use it a few times, and and it starts breaking down. With this, if we run up against a raspberry bush, or if we come up some prickly ash or something, stuff's not going to rip. Okay, it's it's some good stuff. Now with this, it's not, I don't know if it's 100% waterproof, um, but it's for sure a good water resistant type material. Let me move my, my cloth out of the way. I got some old dirty nasty mud putter, puddle water. Okay, look at that. See how it's beading up there? Now I didn't want to say it's 100% waterproof because, you know, I don't want to make a claim that it's not, but I mean, that's <laughs> extremely highly water resistant. How's that? Okay. I just got back from a backpacking trip where I strapped my haversack to the back of my backpack while I was packing and it was raining pretty good and everything inside was dry. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. So this is, this is my wife's outdoor purse if you will and she likes it a lot and I'm extremely happy that I found a style found a bag that didn't cost me an arm and a leg okay that she will carry and that she can finally carry her own stuff with so I'm just extremely happy about this nice size a ton of extra strap length on it a ton of stitching on this everywhere okay all right I don't even want to put this thing down. I'm just so happy that she carries her own crap now. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my haversack here. Okay. Now, with her stuff, I keep her stuff. My, you know, because it's all basically my stuff. So I keep her stuff, and when she, she gets to check it out, kind of like a library card or whatever. But my stuff, okay, I keep in my haversack. With this haversack, same sort of deal. It's got a. It's mine is a little. The haversack's a little more squarish or boxy okay which I personally like uh, for some reason she didn't like that but whatever uh, I've got the green strap on here and this one comes with a buckle on the strap extremely large buckle it's got to be at least a two inch and I'm thinking the strap is closer to inch and a half to two inch strap okay that was one thing I probably could have uh, measured but I didn't as you can see mine's it's I don't know if, you, if it uh, comes up in the video, but mine's getting pretty dirty. But, you know, I don't care. That's fine with me. I use mine a ton. Same sort of material. I wanted all my stuff to match. So, 
Okay. Now that one soaked in a little bit more. I don't know if the other one beat it up a little bit more because of the the two pockets and stuff, but I mean this stuff is oh yeah right nice. It's definitely at least highly water resistant. Okay. And mine doesn't have the inside lining. I believe Malcolm said that this was an earlier model and that now his come with the lining. So that might help with, you know, making it, like I said, I don't want to say it's waterproof, but it's, with that extra lining, it's got to be as close as it gets to it. Once again, we've got, with hers, you saw that, you know, the one buckle. Mine has the two buckles on it. Same good quality buckles, same good quality stitching. Okay, this keeps my crap in there. Okay, nice pocket on the outside. With this pocket, I do a lot of chaga hunting. Okay, so I keep something in, in this pocket in another one of his pouches. Okay, nice Velcro, just simple pouch, but simple but you know, very effective. So basically, um, I've just got you know, like a spear point in here that in case I've got chaga way up in the tree, I can kind of lash it to a to a stick or something and then dig it out. But you can, you know, whatever you want in there, you can put in there. Full length um, Velcro, it's not just like one little stitch here in the middle, not just one little bit of Velcro where crap can kind of leak out. Nope, it's full along there. Okay. I didn't even notice that the heck you could there's even like a pocket in there I've had this thing forever and I didn't even think about that because this goes over the top of it that'll be a nice little you could put something in there you know whether you want a tinder or whatever in there look at that you learn something new every day I've had this thing for a flipping year and I've never utilized that pocket anyway all right so then on the inside here I've got another one of his little pouches here I'm not sure what he calls this one but I like to use this for my tinder bag okay it's it's uh Super easy to get to, you know, whatever, just a nice little pouch. He makes all sorts of belt pouches. Actually, I have another belt pouch upstairs I could have grabbed, but anyway, on with the bags. So inside of here, you can tell there's just a ton of room. Okay. I've got, you know, a bandana. I've got some hot chocolate. I've got my fire kit in here. I've got a bow drill bearing block in there. In here, I've got my, my Baco saw. Okay, so I don't really have a lot in here, but I've got enough in here that, you know, I've got a lot of the five C's and stuff. I don't have my, my water container in here because I want to show you something else and how I kind of use these things in conjunction with each other. But anyway, this haversack will hold a lot, but it's not designed to carry a lot of weight. A haversack is designed to have in my opinion, stuff that you want to get to right away that maybe not is not in your backpack, but you can have it right on your side here. You know, you can reach right into it. You can stuff tinder in it, or if you need tinder, you've got it right there. Whatever, my saw's right here if I don't want to have my saw in my belt. It's just a, a real good thing. You know, I didn't know how much I'd like a haversack early on, but I use this thing all the time. This is totally what I take day hiking. Um, you know, if I want to put a pair of binoculars in here, whatever. But as you can see, I mean, there's plenty of strap, good sturdy construction, plenty of plenty of length on this strap that if you wanted, I mean, you could put a pretty good size either lightweight blanket or tarp or something like that inside of here, okay? I don't do that, but you certainly could. This is just his, his standard haversack, okay? And like I said, I think he's made a couple of modifications to it since I've gotten this one, but just good, simple, high quality construction as far as I'm concerned. All right, the next product. This next product is called the Huntsman Pack. I believe that's what he said, the Huntsman's Pack. Now basically it's just a real lightweight backpack, okay? And when I first got this, I asked Malcolm, I said, how come you don't have padded straps on this? And he said, quite frankly, you're not supposed to have that much weight in this. That's not what this is designed for. It's not a very big pack. It's supposed to be 
just used for stuff that you know maybe maybe you don't want to carry a haversack so then you carry your haversack stuff in your backpack okay the way I use it is I use it in conjunction and especially in the winter time but I use it in conjunction with my haversack I don't like a lot of weight on just one shoulder it makes my shoulder it just kind of throws everything off okay so with this I can put you know since how it goes around both shoulders I can put my canteen cup in there you know and water weighs a ton two to two and a half pounds of water alone is what's in this when you fill this up okay my canteen set up here I've got that in there a bulky watch coat okay this would I, I could put this in my haversack but if I want to drink a water or if I want if I wanted to get in my haversack just to put some specialized tinder or grab some tinder out of there well then I gotta dig my watch coat out I gotta dig all this crap out the way I use this backpack is I use this stuff use the backpack for stuff that I don't normally need to get to or I don't have to get to that often so I've got my watch coat in here okay and my canteen could go in either the haversack or the pack just depends on on what I have you know how I'm how I've got it set up so that's all I had in there okay there, it could hold a, a ton more stuff we've got another big pocket full-length velcro in there okay and this one's lined as well Let's do the water test on this one. I think that lining makes all the difference in the world as far as waterproofing on this stuff. And you can just tell right away how much it, oh, maybe you can't, how much it beads up. See that? The lining just makes all the difference in the world. Look at that. Okay. Another little pocket right in here. Okay. So for me to be able to stick and like especially in the winter time be able to stick you know I could stick a wool sweatshirt in here quite easily um, I've got my watch coat I could either have my canteen on my back or inside my pack here either on my back or in my haversack I could you know I mean I could just really load this thing up and it doesn't now like I said before, I would add probably another two, two and a half pounds when I fill that, that canteen with water. It doesn't have water in it right now, but a backpack, I mean, if you can't carry 10 pounds on your back, you know, God bless you because, uh, I don't know, but, and without the, and, and like I said before, with the padded straps, I thought for sure I was going to be like, oh man, that's, you know, going to dig in and stuff. No, if you have, if you have it packed the way you're supposed to, which is lightweight, um, you know, maybe bulky items, whatever, but you're not going to be carrying 50 pounds in this thing. And I've not had a problem with this at all. I mean, I'm, I actually like it. I, I didn't think I'd like it quite as much as I do, but being able to get keep some of the stuff out of my haversack and keep it on my back where I don't, you know, the, the stuff that I don't need to get to as often has really proven pretty, pretty helpful. It's, it's actually pretty cool. So normal you know he does all this I don't know anything about sawing but when you see a lot of thread in my mind that means it's uh, that's a good deal you want to see a lot of thread okay just totally goes back over over it and over again where the end of the the stitch is plenty of room for you know bigger guys or whatever with uh, with these straps plenty of room so I just wanted to share this with you guys this a lot of these, a lot of people have this haversack, and but I haven't seen a lot of people posting about this backpack and about this this other style of haversack, the French trade pack or, or haversack or whatever. And I haven't really seen a video about how these are used in conjunction. I mean, I just think that's a real cool idea. Sure, you could carry one padded strap backpack if you wanted to, but. Someone described it to me as being pack happy. Sometimes you get into a, you know, you start looking for something and oh, you've packed it in here this time or you've packed it way down there or something. So you're pulling crap out looking for something. 
Well, now I can have the stuff that I use all the time right here and the stuff that I don't use that much right here. And in conjunction, if I were to stuff it all in the haversack, first of all, it'd be too heavy, you know, uncomfortable. And second of all, it'd be too bulky and you wouldn't be able to get at it. Where now I can use these, these two separate items, which will work standalone on their own. But when you combine them, you've just got a lot more, a lot more options. So that's about it. I just uh, wanted to share that, get that out there. This is, this is some good stuff and it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. So there you go. Hope you guys are having a good one. Once again, it's uh, the Hidden Woodsman, Malcolm Cordaire. So contact him, see what he can do for you. He's, he does good work. Take care, guys.